encourage all you scholars to read this it's like what you mean all the time on the on the low they actually they actually think we are powerful that we actually can hear from god more than them i mean it's, it's interesting it really is and, and it talks about in a balanced sense the, the pros and the cons of their perceptions one that i have already said the con is that they think okay well then they can endure more pain and we can't but in one sense we can right i mean in the sense that how we you know let me just say this and i don't want to step on sister lens i'm not going into your purview sister lens so don't i'm not trying to speak as an expert but the cdc which is the center of disease and control which is based in atlanta tracks suicides the last time i checked um they they had a listing of people who will commit suicide at, at, from the highest rate to the lowest rate and when i last checked this it could be different now, but when I last checked this listing, white men were at the top of that list, that high up on the list, if not at the top, most likely to commit suicide. And I found that baffling because in this civilization, white men have the most privileges. But who's at the bottom of the list, and I mean that includes Asians, Latinos, and everyone else, is black females. You know, if you lived in a, in, a, in, in a palace behind a, a, a massive wall and everything was provided for you, then you didn't have to develop any hardness inside of yourself. So the first time you're pushed outside that wall to deal with what's in the real world, you're overwhelmed. Let me give you a quick example. Kids, I, when, I, when I worked out on Mercy Drive, y'all, those of you are from this area, you know Pine Hills is, 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 is in Terry, you don't know Pine Hills, but it's kind of like the, Imagine Watts of Compton, okay? I was out there working in Pine Hills and these kids, I ran into some eight-year-old kids and and they talk like 35-year-old adults. I remember this little boy, he was misbehaving and, and uh, I said, son, get in line. And he wouldn't get in line, we were going on a trip. I said, son, get in line, you know, with that multicolored shirt that you have on. I was being a little funny. And he looked at me like an adult with indignation. He said, this shirt, this is Tommy Hilfiger. It costs more than everything you got on. I was like, 1297, 17. Nuh-uh. I mean, he just checked me in a minute, speaking to me in a way that an adult would speak. He had an adult presentation, but he lived in a hard place. So we had to develop, and many of those kids developed this hardness so that they can endure some things that other people would just pass out and be overwhelmed with. I don't know all of the signs behind that. That's my experience. We'll talk more about it on another day. That's not what this class per se is about, but that study is interesting. Y'all look at that study because um, it's it, it, I found it quite striking.